Hello, how are you? You should have guessed what city we're in by now and in case you still haven't, that should give you a clue. And if it still doesn't give you a clue, go back to school and have a very strong word with your geography teacher. Oh, let me tell you this, in case you haven't guessed, we're in the beautiful city of Hyderabad and behind me is the amazing Char Minar or as it's locally called Char Minara. The Maruti Suzuki India in association with Times Now and me, Rocky. And me, Mayur, are on a mission to find happy cities with happy roads. A show where we took a look at India's roads and see how they're only going to get better going forward. So be positive and come along with us as we explore our country's lifelines, her roads. And this has been the nexus, the focal point of people from all over the world who've come down here to settle down in beautiful Hyderabad. Right now in the old city, traffic is chaotic. There are thousands of people everywhere and you can buy everything from a selfie stick to very expensive pearls right within 50 yards of me. With a population of close to 7 million people, Hyderabad is facing pretty much the same problems that any modern city faces today. People are coming into the city, standard of living is going up and everybody wants either a two-wheeler or a four-wheeler and they all want to be on the road at the same time. So Hyderabad, Hyderabad apart from many horns, is adding 1,000 vehicles to its roads every day. And how is a city growing at this pace going to manage to keep up with road safety and have happy roads? That's what we're here to explore. Uh, besides dodging traffic, we're also going to speak to a whole bunch of people, ordinary citizens, the police and other people who are doing a lot to try and make these happy roads. But like I always say, if you're going to say something important, say it with your mouth filled with biryani. So let's go find the biryani first in Hyderabad and then we'll talk about other things. Biryani is important there. The first thing we've decided to do while coming into the city of Hyderabad is to come to the nerve center from where all of Hyderabad's traffic is controlled. I'm going to take you to the place uh, which is the actual sort of spot from where all the action happens. That's his story. Basically, whenever we go into any new city, he has to report to the cops because of all the places he's run away from without paying the bill. Shh. Remember the line that they say, Big Brother is always watching you? If you're in Hyderabad, Big Brother is watching you. Cameras across many traffic intersections to make sure you behave. We're standing with CI M. Narasingh Rao, who's uh, in charge of the Traffic Command Control Center. Did I say it right, sir? Yes. Traffic Command Control Center. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you very much for letting us in here and letting people of Hyderabad see exactly how the police keeps an eye on everything that's going on in the whole city. This is wonderfully modern, first of all. Yeah. My Thank you. My compliments to all of you. Thank you. And I'm seeing this wonderful thing on your chest. What is that, sir? Yeah, this is called the body one camera. Uh, now that all officers will wear this body one camera on the field, uh, whenever uh, a challenge is to be issued to the violator, uh, that violator in front of the violator, that entire video will be recorded. I can yeah. see myself in there. Yeah, yeah, you can see that clear video will come and. Uh, that uh, full HD is recording oh, wow. and uh, no there editing. is no, op no, no option for officer to edit, delete and anything but uh, that officer has to record this compulsory. And, the, and these cameras are just one of uh, many initiatives under your uh, traffic integrated management system. Yes. What are the others? Some this the is others. the first time we have started this uh, body one cameras and other than uh, we have the uh, totally traffic ATCS uh, traffic signaling system is there. That H streams we will call uh, Hyderabad Traffic Integrated Management System right. that all uh, traffic uh, signals will be monitored from here and uh, we can control from here. Now, and what you're seeing over here is state of the art. So there's real time monitoring of traffic, there is real time extending or shortening of red lights, green signals, all that is happening over here. 
and I noticed a gentleman over here is issuing Yeah, that uh, from traffic command center, uh, that uh, chalans also will be issued and every day more than 2,000 chalans issued from here. Mm. And other than field level, uh, near about 8,000, every day 10,000 uh, traffic chalans are being issued. And is that a problem when people come to pay, there's a long line? No, 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 no. we have started the first time, this totally chalan system is cashless. Okay. No officer will collect any fine amount on the field. That uh, Chalan ticket will be issued to the violator. He can take the ticket and he can pay anywhere. More than 60 payment gateways are there and online also. Through net banking, he can pay and mobile app is also there. Sir, I'm inspired. I feel like breaking a rule now just to pay the Chalan. Yeah, great. Break a rule because now you don't have to deal with anybody. The technology will catch you breaking the rule. Technology will fine you and technology will even collect the fine from you. This is the control center and here's how it works, sir. Should we walk around and you show us what you're doing now? This, of course, is the crossings and signals real time. Yes. This is what's happening right now. Yes. Traffic means there are three is one is engineering. Second is enforcement, third is uh, third is uh, education. The data shows that uh, year, year 2011, 12, 13, number of fatal road accidents or number of road accidents were higher. Whereas 2014, 15, 16, road accidents or fatal road accidents are lesser. Though number of vehicles is increasing by 10% every year. We have given a lot of emphasis on the safety of the commuters. Among that, first important thing is drunk driving. We have created an SOP where if somebody is found to be drunk, then his vehicle is taken in custody of police. It is not released immediately. He is supposed to go in a public transport or some alternative arrangements. Then he has to come for counselling, which is done for the safety of this person and uh, uh, to tell him that what are the dangerous aspects of the drinking. Then uh, we produce in, in the court and uh, for the minors driving our SOP is that their parents or wards are also called. They are also counseled so that they also understand the impact of it. It has made lot of impact. Uh, we have noticed that uh, violations have come down. Even parents are also very happy about it because they never thought that police will come, uh, come to this level and then they will counsel them as well as children uh, before each other so that uh, it strengthens their hand also. Once upon a time, the city of Hyderabad had a lot of potholes. Right now, that is not the case. Like holes in flesh, they were dotted all over the roads. But they've been fixed. In fact, we've driven around for about 45 minutes to find this sort of a pothole. It's not even quite a pothole. Not going anywhere. And you know what? In Hyderabad, the chances are if you find a pothole like this, it has been fixed by this amazing man called the Pothole Doctor. Gangadhar Tilak Katnam is a retired man who had another job, gave up the job and he lives off his pension and he uses most of it to fix potholes. Wherever he finds potholes across the city, he opens his car, pulls out stuff, fills it in and does that so that people are safe from accidents and from being splashed. Respect. ఉండేవాడు చాలా చక్కగా గోచోడు ఇంటికి వచ్చేవాడు ఏంటి అన్నయ్య ఇది ఇట్లా బాగాలేదంటే లేదురా దీనివల్ల ఇలా ఉంది ఇలా ఉందని చెప్తే కూడా మేము వినిపించుకునే వాళ్ళం కాదు ఒకరోజు నాతో నన్ను తీసుకెళ్ళి మాకు చూపించాడు ఏం జరుగుతుంది అనేది యాక్చువల్గా చూపించేటప్పటికి ఓహో మనం డాక్టర్లం కాదు దేవుళ్ళం కాదు ప్రాణాలను అయితే మనం పొయ్యలేము కానీ ప్రాణాలకి అవయవాలకి ప్రమాదం కలగకుండా మనం రక్షించగలుగుతాం 
అని మేము కూడా ఇది అయ్యి మేము కూడా ఆయనతో కలిపి చేయటం మొదలు పెట్టాను ఆయన సెవెన్ ఇయర్స్ నుంచి చేస్తున్నారు ఒక ఫైవ్ ఇయర్స్ నుంచి నేను ఆయన్ని ఫాలో అవుతున్నాను అండి I demand a citizen's constitution charter that pedestrians should be allowed to cross the road even when there are no crossings because ah oh, that was i think i lost 4 years of my life yes can't we just find a road where there are no cars if you want to start a movement set a great example so if you want car free days start by riding a bicycle which is what ramesh loganathan who's formerly president of the hyderabad software association yes and he's the one that sort of mooted this whole thing about keeping cars off the road for at least one day of the week and he's come to meet us on a cycle good example good example how are you ramesh how are you no cars on the roads on thursdays i mean that's a dream right thursdays yes it's a dream uh, so we try we've been trying almost year and a half now so what do people do what are people supposed to do on thursday so we definitely want them to work yeah we don't want them to stay home no calm chores absolutely and uh, we want them to work and work in the office not at home uh, so we want them to take uh, any other form of transport than personal cars when you say you're pushing car pulling you mean you're encouraging car pulling and not literally like pushing the yes car. yes push your car to work make a man of yourself <laughs> good idea you get exercise you uh, pollute the environment a lot less that's a good idea but uh, but car pulling yes uh, so we have a lot of people uh, switch to car pulling uh, so we have had a three pronged uh, kind of uh, effort so to speak the very large volunteer team So how many people do you think you've been able to make a difference to So uh, like in the companies that we have got active support which i would say is probably around maybe 10 15% of the industry uh, where we are touching up maybe around 60 70000 people uh, where we have been able to get some good influence there we've seen 10% reduction in cars which is really good i which mean which is very good and you've been able to keep 4000 of them off the roads yes yes 3 4000 uh, of it on a daily basis on on a thursdays on one, thursdays one. pushing thursdays we haven't counted the other days we right. said like let's form the get the awareness let them realize how easy it is uh, to try other forms yeah. and the hope is like once they see it is easy they'll probably do it more often i think it's a very important initiative that you started and i think keeping thursdays car free is a very very important thing that's happening on the roads of at least this area the cyber city in hyderabad but to make a difference each one of us has to do their own little bit so if you're that 90% that's actually not taking public transport or a bicycle think Shame about it you. just try it maybe it's easy hyderabad has a really good record for initiatives that have been taken for the safety of women on the roads and uh, one person has played a primary role in this additional dg cv anand who was uh, the traffic commissioner of uh, hyderabad and then the commissioner of hyderabad so very nice to meet you good to meet you thank you so much for joining us sir good morning now cyberabad has a unique situation there's about 350000 people working here one third of which are women yes and that's a real challenge when the when the office hours get over you have a lot of women coming out yeah. going home how do you tackle such a challenge like this because safety is paramount yes it is it was a real challenge and with cases of molestation and uh, other complaints coming in mm. so and there was a case of the abhaya rape case yes, uh, we were known we by that so after that uh, we bro- the cyberabad security council was brought into uh, action and uh, th- we brought in a five prong strategy right. first we tackled the private transport mm. and uh, we said all the 30000 cabs moving in this area have to be compulsorily registered with the tribal traffic police and we issued uh stickers to the vehicles and right. they had to display that uh, the i am safe stickers i have seen them on almost all the cabs yes, have those stickers they have now. to otherwise they are charged 500 rupees for not having okay. that so and that's, that's a visible uh, thing visible for women to see and all the women safe. where we went to each company and told them that you have to watch for the sticker before getting into the cab that's wonderful then the autos also were educated but the safety mechanism were brought in for that then public transport was increased rtc was asked to put in 40 buses to cover the outside outlying areas of the it corridor and the she shuttles that was the main initiative four buses sponsored by the state government 
and uh, the expenditure is borne by the Cyberabad Security Council, which is nothing but contributions of the IT companies. So it was free for the ladies? It is absolutely free for them. Anyone can get into it and um, uh, move in this area, only for ladies. But just having a ponytail won't be a... Right? No, that's no criteria. <laughs> We've seen the she shuttles, by the way, so it's still working really well. Yeah, it is working. It is the most uh, successful uh, scheme for women's safety. Here. So that's two then? Then we brought in a policing in this area. We put up new check posts to cover the entire IT corridor. Then uh, 150 CCTV cameras sponsored by the Cyberabad Security Council were put in at all the junctions and they are watched at the, uh, the command and control center. Right. Then the awareness campaign, Sanya Mirza took part in that short movie when we shot several short movies and we went and the women's forum of the Cyberabad Security Council went to each of the companies and spread this message of safety and what precautions are to be taken. It's a great initiative. I think if you coordinate a sensible plan and put it on the ground and actually execute it, this country can change for the better as we've seen with Hyderabad and Cyberabad. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. For everything you've done. We really yeah. appreciate it. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Pleasure much. meeting you. From she shuttles, we thought it's nice that now that we're in Hyderabad, we must come and meet she who shuttles. And who can that be more than this young lady over here? <laughs> Hi, good uh, Jwala. That's her name. The last name comes first, am I right? <laughs> yeah. I got it right, no? Yes. Yes. <laughs> now, you're a true blue Hyderabad. Yes, I am. I don't think there's anybody out there who doesn't know that she's one of the greatest badminton players we've ever, ever produced. You must have been very mobile since you were very, very young. Yeah. So what are the modes of transport that you used to use when you were a kid going for practice? And stuff I used like that? to run first, very early, but there was hardly any traffic, you know, around uh, 5 o'clock. 6 o'clock in the morning. So I used to run to practice. My dad, we used to have scooter and two wheelers and uh, I also used the bus, the bus from school to practice and practice to school. Apart from the fact that obviously you'll, there'll be a lot of people coming up and asking for photographs and autographs. Yeah. Uh, what's the other reason why people in Hyderabad are not using that much public transport? I don't know because Hyderabad, I think uh, uh, the city-wise, it's not very big. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's not like Delhi or Bombay. So like like where we are standing, that is Hyderabad and that is Sikandrabad. Exactly. But now, do you think going forward, one thing that you really like about traveling on the roads of Hyderabad as opposed to any other city, and one thing you could change? I like Hyderabad as a city uh, because it's not very big. <laughs> so going to any place wouldn't take you more than you know half an hour. 40 right. minutes. So even though traffic is quite heavy now. Now the traffic has small. become really bad yeah. is because there there is no space to make more roads. I think there are too many too many new uh, vehicles coming in and no roads to drive. And that's what's happening in Hyderabad. Well, but if there was one thing that you wanted to say to the people of Hyderabad, what would that one thing be as far as the roads are concerned? Uh be considerate. I think that's one thing what uh, we, we, we uh, lack in civic sense. We don't bother about the other vehicles. And to people who uh, drive powerful machines, which Hyderabad, Hyderabad is crazy for powerful machines. People who have money who can afford. Expensive cars, big bikes, yeah, fast bikes. Uh, yeah, I think they should be a little more responsible. Feel responsible because people around us are not used to these powerful machines and right. we have to drive responsibly. Basically, people order. of Hyderabad should watch out for me because I'm a powerful machine. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, please. Just swim till there and back. Yeah. You're a motorboat. You can do it. You have to prove yourself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much, all of us, speaking you. to us. Thank really you. appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. I'm going to take my powerful machine on the road. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll head that way. <laughs> Hyderabad is a city that's built on many dreams. But most of all for me, it's built on Irani chai and Osmania biscuits, which are quite wonderful. You must try them when you're here. It's been a nice journey through Hyderabad. Sometimes it was a very slow journey, but the encouraging thing is that Hyderabad, the citizens, the police, and a lot of other people, they're actually making a determined effort to try and get some sanity back on their roads. And sanity is appearing slowly but surely. The roads of Hyderabad seem to be getting more controlled, more organized, and even though it might look chaotic, things are actually moving in the right direction. And safer for women. Safer for women for sure. Thank you very much for coming along with us on our beautiful ride across Hyderabad. We will move on to the last city in our series. 
But before that, we leave you with our mantra for whenever you're irritated on the road. A smile for every mile. We, we wish, wish you happy roads. roads.